come, come on, please introduce yourself, my good sir. My name is Matias de la Flor. I am mm. the writer director of Romeo Coleta Limeño. Mm. This guy right here is about to kill it. We're about to have a good time. And dude, we're just gonna do some Latin shit, bro. Yeah, vamos a hacerlo. Vamos a hacerlo. Chance, just at the chance. I don't understand. I pull up on you, I need my advance. Here's my pants, I'm chilling with me. We singing a chant. We made love scenes, stripping like dance. Through the whole walk, dropping the steam. Yo, man, today, today is the first day of rehearsal. The first day of rehearsal. You guys won't guess where I'm at right now. I'm at the University of North Carolina Theater of the Arts, right? <laughs> my first time in the theater, my first time in an actual building in this school, well, at least this building. Um, and right now we finna just, we finna vlog the, the, the experience. This, yeah, come, come on, please introduce yourself, my good sir. My name is Matias de la Flor. I am mm. the writer director of Romeo Coleta Limeño. Mm. This guy right here is about to kill it. We're about to have a good time. And dude, we're gonna do some Latin shit, bro. Yeah, vamos a hacerlo. Vamos a hacerlo. <laughs> but yeah, yo, y'all get the gist. The thing about this, this play, yo, it's not only Romeo and Juliet, it is Latin X based. Yo soy Puerto Riqueño, as you guys all know. So, esto va a ser. Una experiencia, something, something crazy. It's gonna be something crazy, something amazing for me. Something, something that will definitely get me out of my comfort zone. And I'm grateful to have y'all here with me. So without further ado, let's head into the stage room. Let's go. Like I said, today is the first day of rehearsal. Hit up Bojangles, finna eat it in the car. It's going pretty smooth, man. It's going pretty smooth. I don't want to get too much in there because you guys will see the outcome of it in, um, in the actual play. But it's it's awesome. Uh, check this out, man. Check this fit. This fit comes from the Thread Beast box that I unopened, right? So I have a video link right there. Go ahead, go check out that video if you haven't already. You know, when the link is gonna be in the description to get fifty dollars off of your first purchase on Threadbeast. Get what I'm saying? Just had to plug that in there real quick. <laughs> but right now, I'm heading back into back into this building, to the building where they have um, the theaters placed in. Look at the art. We're about to get started again. The, the musicians getting ready. You know, they getting the, um, the script ready. We have, we have um, bass playing, violin. We have a couple different things that's just going to make the whole environment something extravagant. You know, it's, just, it's really a production of the people in the culture. It's amazing to be a part of this opportunity. So let's go. Barcelona, the Capuletos are Madrid, sorry Alex. So, which is really crazy. Um, 85 mil for Bale to sit on the bench. So Gareth Bale is a player that they bought for 85 million dollars, who was basically the most expensive with the last um, the music's gonna drop, so just hit it with um, with a lot of energy. Last thing I want to do so we pick up that energy that just drop. All right, so we're gonna start from same thing the video said to him. Uh, you can do whatever you're ready. Same thing the video said to him. I mean, same thing the video said to him. Well, this ball comes in quickly, taking over the space. Romeo, how are you? Bien, pa. 
Uh, solo que estoy un poco perdido. Si puedes, anda, Wong, traigo, muchachos. Mira. So right now we're in the middle of right, so we go. going from, through the play. Let's have some fun. We're trying to, we're trying to do the music. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's have some fun. You deserve fun. I dropped the dream tonight. You looked up here. What was yours? Señorita Matt. Yeah, sorry. Read the book. I don't know what we're mm. A sweet dream of truth is mm. So right now, man, we just taking a little five minute break, man. This crazy, man. The energy, the love, the, the passion, the music, the culture. Amazing, man. Amazing. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. So first day of rehearsal, first day of rehearsal is done. I'm heading out right now. I got here at 11 and now it's about to be, it's about to be like 7, 6.30. Good job, great job. Thank you, I appreciate that. First day done, we got, we got another day tomorrow and then Saturday is the actual play. So yeah, man, first first day it was good, man. We gonna we gonna see what this means, y'all. Let's go, gang. What's up, guys? Today is the next day, people. Cinematography individuals that will be recording this process. It's gonna be an experience, just like it was yesterday. I I wanted to make this room with a bunch of Latino people doing and reading this text with incredible musicians that are gonna bring incredible sound to the text, right? So I really, really want us to tap in to, to the culture, to our culture, to what it means to us, whatever it is, it's gonna be different for everybody. But this is the space to let it fly. This is the war zone. When you're in here, you're in the ring and you're boxing. This is war. I need you to go to war with words. What I really want us to think about, since we're doing a reading and it's not about the Kali, but this play is so physical, it's like you're acting for the camera, but speaking Shakespeare. You're filling the house with your voice, but all the, all the intention is just right here, to be honest. Right? It's all about the intention. So, I'm asking you for vulnerability. I'm really asking you for this. I really need you to tap in and find whatever connection, whatever the bridge is for you to really be vulnerable. And yes, that takes a lot of courage. Right? Which is what, this, what people in this play are having, right? Because to have a lot of these conversations that we're having when it comes to parents, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to self, we don't usually have these conversations. We don't usually have them out loud. That's why we have the theater. So we, we have to give it everything. Because if we do, someone in the audience might go home and ask their kid a question. Someone in the audience might go home and share a meal with their family. We've done well with the marketing. The Latin population will be there. It's not just gonna be us at UNCSA, like 95% English speakers. It's not gonna be that. We're gonna have significantly more people from the community that we wanna reach. We have a responsibility. We talk the talk and we're gonna walk it and I know that we're gonna get there, right? From that courage comes clarity, right? If we are absolutely clear with what we are trying to say and what the message that our character is giving to the story, they will get it. It doesn't matter what language they speak. It doesn't matter how much time we have with it or not. It's like, but in that moment of vulnerability, just allow it to fly. I'm gonna ask you to go there. Go to that place that you're uncomfortable going to. If you're having a conversation and you gotta like step in there and really say it, say it with all your heart, with all your soul, with every bit of your body. Because we deserve that. We all deserve that. We deserve to hear these things just like punched. You know, it's war in that aspect. Now, that doesn't mean that it's, that it's rough, right? Because everything that you're doing is coming from a place of love. All these characters are looking for love, for community, for connection, right? Right? Everyone here is looking for that, right? So just keep playing with that status, right? What do they hold over you? What don't they hold over you? And how do you feel about that? What is your point of view on that, right? We're here to celebrate. 
we're here to celebrate. Within all the dramatic aspects that this play has, it all roots from celebration. And that comes into urgency, right? Because through that celebration, it's, we gotta get it done. We gotta get it done, we got 90 minutes, right? And we have to be urgent with this text. We have to be on top of it. Someone's saying something to you, you're not taking it in, you're just going, you're answering, what, huh? There's very little moments that we earn B. We have to earn the pauses, earn the silence, but the music is gonna be lovely because there's so much music at the top of the play that when we get to the shit that we really need to, really need to drop into, when the music drops out, it's all on us to pick up that energy that we're gonna get, right? With that urgency, and remember, familia, comida, football, love, right? Those are the themes, the pillars of this play. Look for the moments when you're talking about food, you're talking about your heart. When you're talking about your family, you, you either uh, talk about your heart or talking about something that holds you back, right? Football is your, your competitive person, everything coming out. It doesn't matter if you play it or not. When Real Madrid and Barcelona are playing, you're there and you're cheering. At the top of the play, when Nico's screaming goal, the Capuletos are gonna be like, oh, we just got scored. And the Motescos, we just scored. And it's the most, it's the best and the worst thing that can happen to you, possibly. These stakes are insanely high. We're not using the lights, we're not using the bullshit, we're using us, the gritty. The stakes are insanely high. When someone's talking to you, you, you gotta shut them up with your next sentence, and then they're gonna hit you back, and they're gonna hit you back. Everything should be the last thing you ever say, because it just get through to them. You should fight, like Virgilio starts his play and says, we're gonna do the pollera, we're all gonna get together, we need stability. That is what ruins it. <laughs> it's love itself that betrays us in that way. We gotta show them. Because that's the whole point. Because if we just see, we could have created a beautiful love between two people that could have brought two families that were opposed together. So showing those stakes is the only way that the ending is going to work. I put a lot of my ideas here. When we're working, if you have a second and you're not on stage, if you want to come and check it out and make some notes and connect it to you in whatever way works for your process, please feel free. Hit me with questions, hit me with anything. But what I'm gonna ask now that we're all here, we're all men and we're going forward, we got a lot of really great work done before, which is great because we got the monologue and we got these scenes done and we're earning a lot of the silence, which is beautiful. But now when we're all together, I need energy. I need all of us to help the person on stage by giving them our energy, right? And I need you to go to that place. This is, we got one day. I wish this was every day. Nico said that after he left. And it's beautiful and it's emotional. Because how many, I've never been in a room like this before. I've never been in a room like this before. And I don't know when we're gonna get to do this again. So let's put it all on the line right now. Let's Woo! today from around 11.15 to 1 and from 2 and 1 hour from now to 6 and we did this whole thing thank you thank you you came you saw you conquered <laughs> really, across the board all of us together this is this is our little thing that we've just created it's never going to be the same because things are never never going to have two days hopefully this is this is for us now all the beats are there y'all taking the notes it's great the music sounds fabulous it's all working the stage direction so much energy it's wonderful now now it's all you now when you get up there you're going to feel the energy of the people and that's going to spur you and take it in keep being uncomfortable keep having those tough conversations keep having that courage it's i i I'm, I, I couldn't be happier this is fabulous. We're gonna, we're gonna Yo, listen, guys. Yeah. 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 Yo, listen, guys. How, how y'all feeling, man? How y'all feeling? So Dude, this my YouTube. I'm a YouTube. I'll be doing YouTube, y'all. Yeah. Oh my God, I used to be a YouTuber. Listen, you should get how back on it. Yeah. How y'all doing, man? Wait, wait, wait. So, I mean, I'm, I'm still a YouTuber. I'm just a vlogger. Like, I'm a different... Yeah. I'm different. You said I'm different. the camera. You said, hey. a little bit of everything, hey. man. A little bit of everything, man. Y'all should check it out. We've been here since 11. It's been amazing. Yeah. I'm just playing. 
absolutely amazing. <laughs> Look, we got the cameraman here, yeah, behind yeah. the scenes, most definitely. Like, it's, it's definitely a movie, a culture, an experience. It's, it's going to be a show. It's going to be a show for the books. For sure, man. We're going to catch you on the flip side. That's a good name, though. Y'all know I'm Sam older than Sam. Sam. Yo, 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 pause, pause. Cheers. Cheers. Trying to expose me, man. Trying to expose me. Oh my God. They, they, they didn't want to say the question, man. What, what's wrong with you folks, man? You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm old, man. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. You're old enough, right? Listen. Girl, I'm gonna look, Jay up, I'm gonna look Jay you up. Years old. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm gonna look up your Wikipedia. Listen, look it up, man. Um, I'm older than 14 because then, when he's telling the truth, they're like, like, "Oh, he's old." He's you know? Underestimate. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. there will be a restroom there. Um, yeah. Thank you. It'll be 95 degrees. Yeah, really? Yes. Yeah. 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 Please dress accordingly. Hello guys, tis the day, tis the day. I just got off work. I just got off work. I'm on the way. Um, right now we're at Bailey Park here in Winston Salem. Um, and I'm just heading to 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 rehearsal. You know, um, we were supposed to get there like around three. I got off like around four. It's around four thirty now. And now we're just making. I'm just making my way up to the. Um, to what we will be performing. It's, it's like literally seven, five minutes before we actually start, man. No, everybody rehearsing. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling Sam. good. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great, man. It's, it's going to be down. great. Yeah, how you feeling, man? How you feeling, Sammy? I'm feeling awesome. Awesome. It's going to be super fun. Amen. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa. I, I don't. Farting everywhere, man. Yeah. I don't. How you feeling, bro? Party. 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 Yeah. Not. <laughs> he needs no. some milk. He's rude. I didn't know this shit was rolling. I'm feeling good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's gonna be crazy. It really is. You're really highlighting this height difference right now. Hey, hey, my bad. I'm, I'm out here being out shorty. Here. <laughs> Yo, how you feeling, bro? How you feeling? Oh, my boy's killing it. He's gonna kill it tonight. Uh, Y'all better come playing? out and see Mercutio with my Mercutio. boy Tibble. We're gonna kill it tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Julieta, Julieta, ¿cómo te sientes? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, yo, Tibolo. Me siento magnífico. Y tú, Glory. 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 Hola, ¿cómo estás? Sí. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <it's a> <laughs> Glory. <laughs> The whole cast, man. We just getting ready, man. Literally a few minutes before we start. All right, what's up? It's just been such an amazing experience, and like I really like put my heart into this, and like so is Jay, and so is Christina, and like thanks so much for supporting us. And this opportunity as well. Really excited. If you're not here, shame. Oh. <laughs> Signing off. Come, come, come. Look at the crowd, guys. Look at the crowd, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. It's amazing. I'm sorry. So bad. Cristiano doesn't wait for space. He takes it. CR7 is work ethic. Entonces, ahí estoy trabajando en la cancha, sacándome la mugre para encontrar la solución de cómo ser un campeón. Y ahora, mi hermanita perfecta con esa frutita como tesco que se cree fresco, pero verán que en la cancha que yo la tengo muerto. I'm gonna tell that. Soon they will see.
see me. It don't have to be. Why does it take making money to be taken so seriously? Estamos más en mi pecho que su rol. Que no representar a mi familia. Y para eso estoy trabajando. Well, in two years, I'll be in Madrid. Y cuando llegue ahí, verán, nuestros nombres estarán en las espaldas de los que gritan los goles. See Josito Lorenzo cutting onions really slowly. Oh man, it's finally the end, man. We just finished, oh, man. man. Look, got the fam here that was out here supporting and everything, yo. Everybody out here that had a good time. Playing music now. Yeah, guys. For my first play ever, I am extremely grateful to Mateus and the whole cast for an incredible experience. I just want to say thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the process with me and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you're still here. I have a new album coming out tomorrow called G Hits, dropping Friday the 12th. I have the link to my music video, Chapters of Evolution, that also dropped. So go ahead and check that out while you can. And that concludes it for this video. She, when is she a demon? Is she a demon? Is she a demon? She looking so hot, I'm wondering if she a demon.